Welcome back to Maki Connection. Today let's test the auto breaker feature of the Mustang Maki. So in this test, we're gonna test back out of the garage. We're gonna do it again, 15 miles an hour drive assistance on. Again, without drive assistance. And if things go well, we'll try to get 25 miles an hour. With that, let's get started. So the first test, we're gonna try back it up. So, Dolphin is dead. <laughs> Let's try to get him a little slower. Getting the warning. The car is not stopping. So, backing up, um, the car does give you a nice alert, but will not break for you. All right, first test. We'll go 15 miles an hour. With driver's distance on. 15 on. And we hit it. <laughs> Car didn't even alert. So in this test, we're gonna try it again, but we're gonna go probably 10 to 5 miles an hour. So as you can see here, all driver system aids are on. Here we go. At 10 miles an hour. No alert yet. And, oh, there we go. We actually had a notification there. But did the car stop or did I stop? I don't know. Let's back up and try it again. Seven miles an hour. And no alerts. So this is now day two, later in the evening. And um, yeah, these tests are not going as well as I expected. So I'm gonna try something a little, a little bit different today. Let's go to our settings again. Driver's assistance. And we've got a pre-collision assistant. This time we're gonna set the alert sensitivity to high. You see now if you go to low, it's one square. Two, we get the two squares and three, three squares. So with that, we'll try to test it one more time and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, we're all set up. We're using the Dolphin. Let's go get a shot. One pedal driving is still on. Yeah, I'm not getting anything. So, no alert at all. There we go. So, that's about as close as we need to get to get any alert. So yeah, this is not working out. All right, we're gonna go 15 miles an hour with cruise control on. All right, so 15, cruise control's on. Yep. 
No alert, nothing. Well, for our first Mach E connection challenge, it didn't go too well, did it? The first test with a dinosaur, 15 miles an hour with cruise control on, we completely annihilated it. A couple more tents with a Tiger, we got a little bit better result at slower speeds, but again, no alert until it's too late. And today, the next day, I came back out thinking maybe high sensitivity might make a difference. But as you see, it, it didn't. So if you're on a neighborhood, especially around neighborhoods with small children, please slow down. This car can't see them and it will not stop for them. And uh, with that, if you have any more questions, concerns, or you have another challenge for me, please post it down below. Um, if Ford does update the software of this vehicle, um, I do have three more of these blow up, uh, blow up punching bags. I'll come back out and do it again. But until then, see you later.